Hi everyone, this video is all about fall outfits that I wore this week. There's also a couple of event outfits in here which means that it could call for inspiration for those pre-holiday outfits. Let's get into it. One of the great things about fall is being able to play around with layers and in this outfit I'm going to show you how everyday pieces like a button-up shirt can be combined with a silk skirt and a pair of tall leather boots in order to create a really gorgeous outfit. So let's start off with the base of this look. I'm essentially wearing a silk skirt from Joseph that's a medi length and it does have an elasticized waistband which makes it extremely comfortable. I'm wearing a size small in this by the way. And then the shirt that I paired with it is from Joseph as well. It's a light cashmere material. It's incredibly warm but also very lightweight so perfect layering piece. Can be worn alone or layered as I'm going to show you here. And then the button up top that I'm wearing is from Anine Bang and this is a recent pickup from 24S. I got mine in a size small and because I'm 5'4", it does fit slightly oversized on me. But I really enjoy that slightly oversized fit because it does offer a lot more style options. I'm going to show you later in this video how I can take the same shirt and dress it down. But for this particular outfit, we're definitely elevating it and dressing it up and this is something that you could wear to work. Now if it's too cold where you are and you want to wear an outfit like this, you can definitely layer one of those heat tech tights underneath. I got a pair last year and then I got another pair this year because they are so good and they really do work. They really, really keep you warm. Um, highly recommend them. I'm going to link them down in the description box below along with all the details in this outfit. To finish off the look, I'm just going to reach for a wool coat from Dunst and this one is menswear inspired. The quality on this coat is phenomenal and I already have three black long coats in my wardrobe but I have to say this one is of the highest quality of all of my coats. So I'm absolutely loving this one and I know that it's going to be something that I have in my wardrobe for a very long time. I'm going to leave this one linked in the description box for you by the way and it is a very fair price point for the quality that you're getting with this piece. For my handbag, I'm just reaching for my Le Mer croissant bag. This is in the small size. 24S does have the large and the medium size as part of their singles day promo so make sure you check that out. I did opt for the brown color in this outfit because I wanted the brown to bring in some warmth, a little bit more of that autumnal feel, and I also wanted to tie it back to that red stripe in the shirt. So let's talk about the 24S sale. I know I've mentioned it a few times already, but I wanted to show you the two things that I got. Number one being these really beautiful Charlotte Chenet earrings. This is a Parisian designer. Everything is absolutely amazing from her and I'm thrilled that she is part of this 24S sale. The other thing that I got is this really gorgeous Anine Bing shirt. It's kind of like a soft red color and the structure on this shirt is beautiful. I'll leave everything in the description box as well as all the information on the 24S sale. By the way, they are an LVMH owned company and they do stock Dior, Louis Vuitton, Fendi and Loewe. This next look is inspired by Jeff's aunt called Barb and Barb is an incredibly, incredibly chic woman and every time I see her, she just, I, I think she radiates so much. So we were recently at a family event and Barb was wearing this really stunning monochromatic outfit and the tones were very autumnal. It was a lot of camel colors, but she had a little accent of gray in there and she had gold jewelry to kind of help everything flow. She inspired me to recreate this outfit for myself using what I already have in my wardrobe. So let's start off with the trousers. These ones are from the Frankie shop and they are the Gelso trousers. To be honest, the material on these are a little bit thin because it's a 10 cell fabric. So if I was wearing this out in the fall and in the winter and if it was really cold out, then I would probably be layering some heat tech leggings or tights underneath to keep warm. The sweater is from Lulu Studio and this one comes from 24S. I got this one over the summertime with anticipation that I would be wearing it a lot in the fall. And that time is finally here. So for the belt, I'm going with a Le Mer brown, kind of like a soft brown color belt because I wanted to stay with those brown tones to really lean into that monochromatic outfit that I'm recreating. 
Now, if you don't like brown tones and let's say you prefer purple or blue, you can do this with any of your favorite colors, anything that you have in your wardrobe. Um, my goal here is just to give you an idea of how you can take items that you already have and use them in a new combination, in a new way and create a very cool seasonal outfit that you can wear to work an event, um, a family gathering, as did Barb, or even out to a date night, just depending on what items that you're wearing. Now for the boots in this outfit, I'm wearing a pair of Le Mer brown boots, and these ones are leather, they're ankle length, and they are incredibly comfortable. I wore these for the first time last weekend at that family function, and we were standing around a lot. They have a square toe and the heel is 55 millimeters, so it's not too high, but it does give a little bit of height and the leather is so soft. Now for the coat, because we are in the fall, I'm going to be going for a camel color coat that I got last year. This one is from Remain Berger Christensen. It's not available anymore, but I did find a similar one on 24S that does happen to be part of the sale. So I'm going to be linking that one in the description box for you. Now, as you can see, even my glasses have a little bit of that brown tone in them, and these ones are prescription. So I had them take out the original clear lenses, and then I just asked for a pair of 10% brown tints. Now these are the kind of glasses that I can wear in low light settings and still be able to see clearly outside. So these are one of my favorite pair of glasses when it's fall because it just adds a little something to my outfit. Finally, the bag is the same bag as before. It's just a very soft, neutral brown it's not too yellow it's not too red it's just the perfect medium brown shade in my opinion it just helps everything in this outfit come together and flow in a very cohesive manner so shout outs to barb for inspiring this outfit and if you do recreate this let me know or tag me on instagram i would love to see it One of the pieces that I recently picked up from 24S are these really beautiful Charlotte Chenet earrings. And if you recall my vlog when I went to Paris with Uniqlo, I had actually stopped by the boutique in Paris and I was so close to buying something, but I held back because I didn't want to overspend. But now I just got these earrings and these ones are part of the 24S singles day sale. So I'm going to link them down below, of course, but they are so beautiful. And I'm glad that I opted for the small initial hoops instead of the larger ones that I was originally in love with because this is definitely the kind of piece that I can wear every day with a pair of jeans, with a suit, even when I dress up for an event and they will always look very chic and it brings just a nice air of glamour to my everyday outfits. Now in this particular outfit I was getting ready for an event that I had and this was actually with Drunk Elephant so I got to meet the founder, we were at dinner, it was a really lovely event and I wanted to wear something that was very comfortable to sit in but that still felt very glamorous and almost cocktail attire so I'm wearing an acne studios wrap skirt here and this one is extremely comfortable and probably one of my favorite purchases for the fall and then I finally finally wore out this Maison Margiela semi sheer corset and I bought this one last year and I know that I styled it in a lot of videos but I had never actually worn it out in real life I did want to layer it with something a little bit warmer because it's been a little bit chilly here. So I took that Joseph um, sheer sweater and I just simply layered it underneath and it was just the perfect amount of warmth. So this is a great going out outfit, event outfit, date night outfit. Um, it's something that I could even see myself wearing come the holidays, just depending on the type of events that I have. And I was very comfortable with it. To finish off the look, I wanted to introduce a little bit of a quirky element, something a little bit whimsical, and that's where that Alaya heart bag comes into play. This is a great bag for going out, and it's definitely one that can also be dressed down, but overall, this is such a comfortable outfit, and I felt very much myself, but an elevated version of myself. By the way, this jacket is from Acne Studios. It's going to be linked down in the description box below. I got this one at the Acne store and I've noticed it's online as well, but it seems to be selling out really fast. I would recommend sizing down with this piece. I got mine in a size 34, which is an extra small. I find that it's a little oversized still, but that's kind of in line with the aesthetic of this jacket, like a slightly oversized aviator jacket. It is distressed leather and it's all done by hand. Um, but yeah, this piece is beautiful and it's so warm because it's padded on the inside. So I know it's something that I can wear as we move into those colder months. Thank you. 
moving from an event outfit to a more casual everyday outfit. This is something that could be worn to the office on a casual day or even depending on where you work. Um, you could definitely wear this as workwear and it could be worn on the weekend as well. So let's start off with the base of this outfit. I'm wearing a pair of black leggings and these ones have a stirrup which is great when you're pairing them with boots because that means that those leggings aren't going to move. Um, I also really like these because the fabric is pretty thick which means number one they're going to keep me warm number two no one's going to see my underwear which is great because sometimes leggings especially inexpensive ones have a tendency to be a very thin material so my tip for you here is to invest in a good pair of leggings that truly feel like a pair of pants um, and that way you can wear them in the fall and in the winter without having to compromise your body warmth. So the shirt is the Anine Bing one that I had worn earlier and on the model this shirt looks like it's pretty well fitted but on me because I'm 5'4 and I got a size small um, it does look slightly oversized and relaxed but I said earlier that I like the fit of this because it gives me so many more style options and as you can see here this is exactly what I mean. I can wear it with a pair of leggings and it covers everything up nicely. It's a longer length on me and I really like that. I also like that the back of the shirt is a little bit longer as well because I think it just adds a very nice stylized touch to the shirt. The collar on this is a little slightly oversized so when I'm pairing it with a cardigan on top instead of bringing out that collar and letting it sit on top of the cardigan I'm just going to let it sit flush underneath the cardi. So what that does is it gives me more of a streamlined effect as opposed to more of a Peter Pan collar. Of course, if you like to style it the other way and bring that collar out, then do so. Do whatever makes you happy with your style. This is just how I prefer to do it so that it looks a little bit cleaner. The cardigan, by the way, is from Mizo Kitsune and it's 100% wool, so it's incredibly warm. The boots are Bottega Veneta and these are the tire boots. Um, I got these ones a couple of years ago and I'm very much looking forward to bringing them out again this fall. For the coat, I wasn't sure if I should go for a brown tone to play on the warm tones from my eyeglasses and the shirt, but I decided to ultimately go with the black. I really enjoy having a tight color story in my outfits, so I try to limit my colors to maybe two or three. I find any time that I do that, my outfits automatically look a lot more elevated and sophisticated, so that's why I decided to go for the black jacket. I love just that little pop of red in the shirt. It just adds a really nice touch of color to this autumn outfit, and it's extremely comfortable as well. This next look is going to be another event look and I was actually quite busy this week. There was three events in total. Two of them I dressed up for, the other one I dressed down for a little bit. Um, but yeah, this is a Maison Margiela skirt in the Bianchato finish. That basically means that it's a denim skirt that's painted white. So the entire skirt, what you're seeing here, is white paint all over the skirt. And the texture on it is absolutely amazing because it's this crinkly effect and it's really beautiful and it sits on the body in such a flattering way. So this is a statement piece that I bought myself last year and I've had it in my wardrobe ever since, just waiting for the right event to come along. Sometimes I'll do this when I see a piece that I think is the perfect statement piece. Even if I don't have a place to wear it at the time, I'll just hold on to it until that right occasion does come along. I do consider myself to be a bit of a fashion collector, so I'm very selective about the special pieces that I do bring into my wardrobe. So my advice to you is that if you ever see anything on sale, maybe it's a dress, a blazer, a pair of boots, and you think it'll be perfect, but I have nowhere to wear it to, I say pick it up if the price is really good because you might find yourself reaching for it the next time that there is a wedding let's say or a special event um, you'll have something to wear instead of struggling at the last second to find the right item so the focal point of my outfit is obviously going to be the skirt and then everything else is just going to complement the skirt but it's not going to take away from that focus point for the shoes i'm going for the tall tabby boots from maison margella the leather on these is incredibly comfortable so if i'm at an event and i happen to be standing around for a long time i know that these are going to be a good footwear choice for me for the tank, I'm just going for a simple black tank top. I picked this one up at my local lingerie store and it's a blend of wool and silk. 
so it's incredibly comfortable and feels like second skin. And then to complement the skirt, I'm going for a Brigitte Herskind blazer. This one's made out of 100% linen and it is fully lined. The structure on this is so beautiful, but I wanted to um, create more of a high neckline on it, which is why I decided to close up the collar and then just pin it. I wanted to get a different silhouette from this blazer and make it more um, fall appropriate. So this is the exact outfit that I wore when I had an event with long jeans. Um, it was to celebrate their Dolce mini Dolce Vita watch collection. The watches were absolutely stunning. The dinner was amazing. I got to catch up with some people that I haven't seen in quite some time. So that was actually really special in itself. And I felt like the outfit made me feel really confident. And I think that's something very important when we're getting dressed for events, or even if we're going to work or just running errands, we want to pick clothes that help us exude our most confident best version of ourselves and it just makes us feel good so whenever you're getting dressed and you're not exactly sure what to wear just opt for the outfit that's going to make you feel like the best version of yourself and I feel like you really can't go wrong with that. Okay, I'm gonna quickly include this in here as a bonus outfit because when I looked at the invitation for the long jeans event, it said to wear cocktail attire um, and a pop of color is encouraged. So at that point, I thought about perhaps wearing my Cicely Bonson dress because it's this really beautiful, vivid, bright red. Um, at this point, I don't have anything to layer on top of this dress. So I tried a couple of different combinations. I felt like the outfit just wasn't 100%. Like it didn't look bad. It just, I just wasn't feeling it. So I decided to go back to the black and white outfit and that's ultimately what I ended up wearing. So when I talk about making sure that you feel like your best self I think that's the best possible fashion advice that I can give you is know what you like collect items in your wardrobe that speak to that um, and then just wear what really truly makes you happy and you can't go wrong so that's everything for today's video thank you everyone for watching thank you 24s for sponsoring this video I am so thrilled to be working with them yet again make sure that you check out the description box for the details on the 24s singles day sale and for also all of the items that I'm linking in the description box. If you want to find something similar, it's going to be in the description box for you. I will see you in the next video and yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.